Australia's peak engineering body has backed the Wyvernhoe Dam workers blamed for making last year's flood even worse. It's the first response by Engineers Australia to the flood inquiry's findings. In March, the Flood Commission found Wyvernhoe Dam's engineers had breached their own flood manual. Today, four months later, a response. Based on our interpretation of, it, of the data, that they certainly use the spirit of what the manual was aimed for. In a 17-page report, Engineers Australia found operators worked to the best of their ability. The dam manual has to provide guidance on what to do. It can't cover every possibility. But the report's author, Bill Weeks, says there is room for improvement. He'd like to see flood management taken away from local government. It also will uh, get a better standard throughout the state. So we see that as, um, as very important. Premier and engineer Campbell Newman hasn't seen the report but says he'll consider flood planning on a state level. I'll be uh, keen to see what they're saying. Uh, as I've said par in the past, uh, they deserve to be given a fair go. The three engineers may still face criminal charges. The CMC hasn't yet decided if they deliberately misled the flood inquiry while giving evidence. Rosalie residents Robert Assenberg and Margaret Jalel believe someone made a mistake. They say the water rose quickly and without enough warning. They should have released the water earlier, much earlier, and a lot of it. The report also points out Wyvernhoe and Somerset are a crucial part of the South East's future water supply. Engineers Australia warns against any measure which could put that at risk. Angie Asimus, 7 News.